Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to learn how to make this triangle dishcloth. This is part of the strawberry dishcloth series and all of a sudden if you want just a triangle just like this it's just really easy to follow. Um, there's really not a lot of brain power when it comes to doing this. You just need your uh, Lily Sugar and Cream or you can use Bernat Handicrafter size G or four millimeter crochet hook in order to make this work and this is actually really quite simple in order to make. Before I begin I'm just going to let you know that I am going to differentiate from or I'm going to deviate from the pattern just slightly but you can follow along and just watch what I'm doing here in order to make it simpler. So what we're going to do is start off with a slip knot just like so and then we need to create the center so that we can rotate around that. Let's begin by chaining four. So one, two, three and four and we go into the beginning chain just like so and we create a slip uh, stitch so that we have a complete circle right in the center. Notice how I'm kind of putting this with the outside. I want it to make sure it's trapped around the center of the ring so it's easy to hide. Let's begin the next step. We're going to begin and we're gonna start off by chaining three which in the rules of crochet counts as a double crochet and we're gonna double crochet two more times right directly into the center of that ring. So we're gonna rotate around this ring. So we only want three sides instead of four as in a typical granny. So whenever we get to a corner in this particular project for when we're doing this kind of step is that it's gonna be chaining a three. One, two, three. Typically in granny squares it's always two. So we're going to then double crochet three more times into the center. So it needs that extra chain in order to make that curve uh, in, the t in the corner that is more than a 90 degree angle. So once you get your three in there, chain three, one, two and three. Coming back into the center for another three double crochet. And then you're not done yet. So you have one corner here, one corner but where's this corner? So you gotta finish it off. So you got a one, two and three and then just slip stitch it to the top of the chain three that you started with just like so. So how we start the remainder of this, so you can see that there's only three sides, so this is a triangle beginning. So I'll show you where to start the next round. The rounds are really easy to follow. In actual fact, once you get a hold of it, you might not even need to watch the rest of this tutorial. The next stitch, you're just gonna slip stitch until you can get to this corner here. So we're actually at the end of this corner, but we're not in the right position. We have to be over here. So we're just gonna slip stitch across the two top of the double crochets that are available to you and also slip stitch into the chain three gap and now you're ready to go. So here's what we're going to do for the corner. So you can see that there's three corners now and we're just gonna chain three which counts as one of the double crochet and you're gonna double crochet two more times. And two just like so and then you're going to chain three. Why are you chaining three? Because you wanna maintain that corner. So one, two and three and then double crochet three times more into that same space. Just like so. So let's continue to go around. Okay so here's where we are. We have one corner done but here's the next corner but we have to get there first. So in this pattern every time you're jumping over, over spaces or jumping over stitches you're always gonna chain two. One and two to do so and then we start the next corner which is what? It's three double crochet and three chain and three double crochet all in the same space. So we can turn that corner. So that was three double crochet, chain three times and then double crochet three times. Okay so that's another corner but here's the next corner over here so we have to get there. So what do we do? We chain two, one and two and then again double crochet three times and then we're turning the corner so that means it's gonna chain three, one, two and three and then double crochet three more times. Okay. 
Okay, and then we have to get back to this corner here, but there's a space there, so we chain two first, and then we slip stitch it to the beginning of the top chain three that we started with, and we're ready for the next round, just like so. Let's begin round number three. So again, just like I showed you before, we have to make ourselves to the first corner. We're not there yet. We're actually early. So we have to slip stitch across the next two double crochets. So we're doing this every time we're doing a round. And then we get, we double our slip stitch right into the chain three on the corner. And so now we're beginning to do the first corner. So we chain three, one, two, and three, double crochet two times. Okay, so then you have your three as in the rules of crochet and then chaining three and then same space because we're still maintaining that corner. So double crochet three times. So now the corner is further apart from us now than it was before. So in each one of these spaces we're always going to put three double crochets but how do we get there? We have to chain two first and then do the next this is the gapping space in the middle be between the corners. So every time you hit one of these it's always three double crochet and then it's chain two. Now we're here on the corner. So it's three double crochet this time. So the corners are always the same. Three double crochet, three chains and three double crochet. One, two and three. So the only difference is, is that there's gonna be more and more spaces put in between the corner sp spaces. That's the only difference. So now that you have that, our next corner is way over here but we're not there yet so we have to chain two. Fill in the spaces in between. There's only one this time. There will be more as this thing gets bigger. And there'll be three double crochets into each one of those and chain two. Here's your corner. So three double crochet. Okay, chain three because you are in a corner and then three double crochet again. Okay, so now the next corner is way over here. It's already done because we started it. So we only have the space left. So we chain two to get there. Three double crochets into each one of the spaces in between the corners. And then chain two because we have to then attach it to the top of the chain three. So in the next revolutions uh, we have to do a few more of these and but I'm going to get you started because the really there's no difference of what I'm showing you right now. The only difference is, is that there will be more gapping spaces. You can see now you have your corner, your corner is here and now you have two more spaces. So that's the only difference. So let me get started on the next one. So you have two more revolutions to do this. So I'm going to start you off with the first one is that we're gonna slip stitch ourselves to the corner just like you have been. And I'm gonna let you do both of these revolutions on your own. So you're going to slip stitch to the corner and now chain three and double crochet three times. Chain three because you're in the corner and then double crochet three times. Okay and then we're now in the gapping spaces between uh, the corners. So how we do that is chaining two and then we just fill it in with three double crochets into each one of the chain spaces going across. Okay, chaining two because you got another space. Three double crochets here and then you're chaining two and then finally your corner. So it's three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chaining three, one, two, and three, and then three double crochet. So I want you to finish this round just like I've showed you before, and then I want you to do one more round of this, and then we're gonna do something a little different from that point. So continue to do that. Now, since I last left you, I did one extra round, and I'm just coming around and I'm just going to slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain three. So the final revolution that I have for you today is that we need to make sure that we have a nice a thick border just like so. So how we achieve that is that we immediately start off and we don't make our way, we don't slip stitch our way to the corner like we have been. We immediately just chain up three and then we double crochet into each one of the double crochets that are available. No biggie, right? So on the corners what you're always going to do is that you're always gonna put in five double crochets. So one, two, 
three, four, and five. So when you're working your way down you see that there's three double crochets. There's chain two, three double crochets. So each one of the double crochets is going to get one double crochet. No biggie, right? So you're just following exactly what's there and then simply when you get to your chain two spaces you put in two double crochets into those space itself. Okay, so one double crochet into each of the double crochets and chain two spaces will have two double crochets and the corners will have five double crochets. So continue that all the way around and then when we come back I'll show you more. So I'm making my way all the way around. I'm filling in my very last space of just two double crochets because that's what you need and then we just have to slip stitch it to the top of the beginning chain three. And then we're just...